In 2014, a vicious separatist war broke out in the Ukrainian regions of Donetsk and Luhansk. We are now going to go together on a journey into what remains of those Ukrainian territories in search of what I believe is the ultimate Soviet mosaic. Join me on a journey along the front. Now, the mosaic we're going to go and see is in a town called Lysychansk in Lugansk region. But to get there, we first have to go to a town called Selidova in Donetsk region. And to get there, we have to go to Dnipro bus station. And to get there, we have to take the famous Dnipro metro. Let's do it. What a Soviet beauty. Now, there's something I want to tell you about Dnipro's metro system. And that is that it's the shortest metro system in the entire world. It was created, or the idea at least was thought up, under Brezhnev. But then it kind of never got round to building it until independence came to Ukraine in the 90s, when there wasn't really much money about. And hence, they've got a bit of a scaled down version. Wow. Check out the Gopnik defenses. Spasibo. Right then, let's go and check out the old Dnipropetrovsk metro. What I do like is they've got a real plastic token. Right. Now you'll notice that the metro stations here in Dnipro aren't very fancy. And that's because, um, well, it was complete in the 1990s when Ukraine really didn't have much money. The early 90s, bandit capitalism, the country was being robbed by everyone. And so it's a little bit plain, but still funky, I like it. The babushka is coming back to tell me off. She spotted me. Oh God, I'm about to get told off by a Ukrainian babushka. Well, I got attacked by a babushka for filming in the metro. Let's get out of here quickly. This isn't actually our stop. We've got another two or three stops to go, but I just wanted to get out and just admire the, um, wow, the construction of this place. Look at it. It's so cool. This is called Zavodska. This station is called Zavodska, which means um, factory, because there's a lot of factories in this region of the city. And so they built this metro stop here to supply all the um, factories with their workers in the mornings. But as you can see, there's no one here because the factories are bloody closed down in Ukraine. But there's some lovely inches. Well, that was the shortest metro in the entire world, the Dnipro metro. Let's go up and find the bus station. Well, they don't sell Babushka's secrets here in Ukraine, but they do sell, get ready for it, just the magazine called Babushka. No other words needed, just Babushka. Well, we're now going to try and get on a bus down to a town called Selidova, which is about 40 minutes from Donetsk city itself. Selidova sits in a region of Ukraine called the Donbass. The Donbass was once patrolled and roamed and controlled by the Cossacks, the free men. And they called the region of Donbass, they called it 
the wild field. And so we're gonna go and check out this wild field and see how wild it is today. Right then, we've got our ticket to old Salidaba and I'm seeing a lot of soldiers buying tickets and waiting for buses, so we're obviously heading down towards, well, a more fiery part of the country. Anyway, Salidaba bus, let's wait for it. No, 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 Poor old Babushka is here, bloody hell, it's no life. Slam to work and try and make a living to top up your pension. It's fucking sad, isn't it? Our bus is here. What a beauty. Don't you just love the carpet on our bus? I hope you can see this. It's very cool. Very Ukrainian, check it out. Thank <laughs> We've arrived in our first stop for the night, Selidera. Let's see if there's a hotel in this town. I saw online that there was some kind of hotel. Let's see if we can get a room. Selidera. It's interesting walking along these streets because they've got the old street names still. They haven't been torn down and the decommunization rules were too remote, I suppose. Too far from the center. We're walking along now, Karl Marx Street. Well. There's definitely no Karl Marx Street in Kiev, let me tell you that. But there isn't Salidova. Where's this hotel? Please don't crunk me. Please don't crunk me. Ho oh, ho, legend. Wow. What a wonderful little provincial hotel we've come to. Check it out. I think I'm going to be very happy here. Well, as darkness falls over the Donbass, I'm going to go in search of some food, which is not going to be possible, and a beer, which might be. And um, yeah, get some sleep, because tomorrow we're going to wake up early and head out closer to the front if we can. I don't know what's possible. Um, let's hopefully, though, we can meet some cool people, hear some stories. So until tomorrow morning, good night from the wild field. Well, good morning from Salidaba. A cold, snowy, slushy Salidaba. This weather was completely unexpected and hence I've arrived completely unprepared in my trainers. This completely changes also the sort of film I can make. I was hoping to make a film in the villages, hitchhiking around, speaking to people, but in this weather, it's gonna be almost impossible. Everyone's gonna be at home. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try somehow to salvage it in some way, but. Russian taxi, Avdivka. Avdivka. Do you understand? Yes. Avdivka. 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 Avdivka, yes. Super. Спасибо. Oh, блин. Oh, 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 oh.
Я не считал, блин, это погода. Да, погода. А по-русски плохо разговаривает. Ну, спасибо. Но не очень хорошо. Не, ну нет, ну сейчас нормально. А, да. Не, ну просто, может, название такое. А, это надо хорошо. Можно просто так накинуть. Мы будем блокпост проезжать. А, блокпост? Хорошо. Не знал. Михайловский блокпост. А как тебе жизнь, этот город? Ну, красивый маленький город, в принципе. Работы нету. А. Магазины, это самое, шахты позакрывали, все позакрывали. Магазины, аптеки, вот это все. Понятно. Понятно. Так, конечно, компактный город, нормальный, но, но ездят все на работу куда-то, да. Никто тут ничего не это самое. The separatist army from Donetsk had this village, held this village in the early stages of war. And then the Ukrainian army retook it after a fierce gun battle. And the signs of that gun battle were all over the side of this house. You can see the bullet holes everywhere. That would have slammed into this building. Wow, and here, discarded, is some kind of rocket launcher. turned off the Donetsk Highway and going through the back roads to the town of Abdivka. The road has obviously got a lot bloody worse. Let's see what happens along here. Fucking hell! <laughs> oh, I'm soaked. This is a disaster. It's not easy traveling in a war zone. Oh, fucking hell. But I wanted to come and look at this building. This abandoned building of some sort. Here at the entrance to Abdivka. Oh, man. Well, I'm in the offices of what was a factory before producing, well, I don't know what. And it was in such buildings that the battle for Avdivka took place. These buildings, these factories became so important for the Ukrainian economy that it was imperative that the Ukrainian army retook towns like Avdivka. And eventually they did. But in 2017, once again, the town flared up, or the battle for Avdivka flared up. Many civilians lost their life here, not to mention Ukrainian soldiers. My feet are soaking. I'm covered in flipping mud and slush from that car that got me. Man. It's not easy being a war correspondent. Спасибо, Володя. Давай, удачи, возьми, в тумку не забудь. Да, да, да. Давай. Хорошо, давайте. Просто хочу знать, как сейчас, спокойно сейчас, и как было раньше. Как раньше? Раньше мы считаем довоенное время, это было раньше. А вот это, которое сейчас, это, это для нас это то же самое военное время. Вот 7-8 километров и Донецк. Кто куда стреляет, а мы страдаем. Как у нас на Украине говорят, паны дерутся, а 
у холопів у слух, мається в виду. Чуби тріщать. Понял. А много страдали, погибли из этого города? И погибли, и вон, та, вот Таня скажет, я бабка старая, я была ранена. Она ранена была, возле магазина. Да, и вот плечо, вот же видите, тягают Пуля вперед. просвистела, она даже не заметила. Да не пуля, осколочная. Осколок. Вот, 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 он мне казался, вот, раз, и встрял. Он был вот такой, вот, и еще и сегмент в сторону, вот так. Как я жива осталась, я не знаю, потому что здесь же аорта проходит, кровеносные сосуды все. Они все так удивлялись, доктора, как эта бабка жива осталась. Да. А ваш дом, ваша квартира никого не трогал? О, ну как, у нас все... На... Ни одного стекла не было здесь вообще, вообще, Нет. во всем городе. Окон, вот только пластиковые, если только не прямое. У меня до сих пор стоит пластиковая с дыркой. Понял. Осколок вылетел. И все стоит. Все же любило время тогда. Но сейчас, не даю, что лучше уже станет. Лучше будет тогда, когда откроются границы, когда мы сможем, понимаете, мы жили, наш город, он слишком привязан был к Донецку, мы без него, ничто, мы дыра, черная дыра, яма. Да. Ну, хорошие дни, и поздравляю на 8 марта. Спасибо. Пожалуйста, Ой, пожалуйста. это хорошее поздравление. Это меня воодушевляет. Хорошо, спасибо вам большое. До свидания. Удачи вам. Just across that open field there, beyond the tree line, is the front line. And hence the poor people that lived in this building here with a view of that front line, well, they suffered more than anyone. You look at the apartments here, you can see where shrapnel blasts, bullet holes, where bombs and rockets have hit the apartments. Wow, all of this whole complex here. These Soviet apartments are just blown out. They've blown out windows, holes everywhere. You can only imagine the horrors for the people who lived inside. The people who lived inside that I've been walking past all day, the Babushkas, the Jedushkas of the town, the young people, the families who lived in these buildings, no doubt they took shelter underground when the bombs started hitting, but wow. It really brings home to you the fact that we are on the front lines of a war. We've come to the end of Avdivka and the end of my journey in the town because it says further ahead are mines. Just up there is the front line. The Ukrainian army is dug in. On the other side, of course, the separatists. Have you been here when you were 14 or not? We were always here. Here, here, here. Да. Не было никого, Нет. как Чернобыль. Well, the cabbie, who's taking me to the bus station, or the train station, said, let me show you something before you leave town. Down on this road, this road that is just full of bombed houses. It's like something out of Dresden or Berlin, circa 45. Look at it. Wow. This is obviously the living room of the house. It's the sofas there. Wow, you can just imagine. There's even some children living here before. Imagine the terror of being in here when this roof caved in from a hit. 
Let's hope that the family, whoever lived here, got out in one piece. Дырки светятся, видишь? Да, вижу. Вот это же от осколков. Дырки. Вот смотри. 24 километра до центра Донецка. Снимаешь? Да, снимаю. Well, as we head back in the cab, back to Pokrovsk, I can see in the distance, as the fog has cleared, the city of Donetsk. It's there in the distance. I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but I can see the high rises of the apartment buildings, some factories. Wow. The city that was once in Ukraine and is now, well, in a kind of breakaway republic. Whether it'll ever come back to Ukraine, I don't know. But there it is, Danetsk. What after Bagzal? There's you, Danny. Давайте отдадим билет, пожалуйста, до Бахмут на следующее. Вау, wow, what a day! <laughs> Listen, I bought a ticket to a town called Bakhmut, which is on the way to Lysychansk, where we're going to see the Soviet mosaic. So we're going to spend the night in Bakhmut, and then tomorrow get on to Lisi Chance. There's big distances in this country. It's a big old country and it takes hours and hours to get anywhere. But anyway, there's my bus. The Bakhmut bus. My name is Christina. We've stopped off in the town of Konstantinovka, halfway to Bakhmut. Wow. My feet, I literally have trench foot. <laughs> my feet are rotting inside my shoes. Crikey, what a town. Nice bit of music playing though up there, if you can hear that. That's how they do it in the provinces of the Donbass. And over there is a table full of everyone selling things. Всем привет. Hello. Hello. Wow, what lovely Donbassians. <laughs> nice people here. But well, we're off to old Bakhmut, whatever that's like. Let's find out. Спасибо, Спасибо Right then, we're in sunny Bakhmut, the pride of the Donbass. <laughs> Maybe. Let's go to the Hotel Bakhmut. Check in for the night. I feel it's going to be another hungry night in the provinces of the Donbass. We're almost at our final destination tomorrow of the ultimate Soviet mosaic. Let's not fall over now on the treacherous icy streets of Bakhmut. Wow, look at it. Flipping it. Where's this hotel? Oh, there she is. Gotel Bakhmut. What a beauty. It's like the Hilton. Room 311. 
Let's see what a room in Bachmut's finest establishment looks like. It's a fancy door, so I've got high hopes. Ooh. Check it out. Check out the most expensive room in Bachmut's finest hotel. All this for Four, 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 four. Yeah. 20 pounds. That'll do for a night. <sighs> Good morning from sunny Bakhmut. Here in the Donbass, it really is living up to its name today. Our tour of this huge country is almost over, but we've got one final Soviet mosaic that I saw on Google Images that looks like the ultimate Soviet mosaic, we'll see. So we're gonna to go to the bus station and try and find some transport to the town of Lysychansk over in Lugansk province. Let's go and check it out. We're almost there. Oh. Здравствуйте, до Лисичанск. Когда следующий, пожалуйста, ближайший? 950. Дайте билет, пожалуйста, одну. Спасибо. Well, that was easy. I went in. I said, is there a bus to Lisichansk? She said, yes, in half an hour. I said, I'll have one ticket, please. She said, there you go. I said, thank you. If only it was always that simple in the provinces. So it's a case of... Um, Bye bye, sunny Bakhmut. I hope we meet again. Вы работаете? Я хочу посмотреть улица Комсомольска первый. Wow, super. У меня есть автобус через 30 минут. Будем успеть? Успеем, смотря что зависит от вас. Давайте. We're on a Soviet mosaic hunt whilst we're waiting for the bus to Lysychansk. I saw one on the internet and thought, let's go and check it out in a larder. Wow, super. So, сейчас называется Бахмут Аранча Артемовск. Артемовск. Вообще его нормальное название Артемовск. Бахмут это выдумали. Не буду говорить, кто они. Oh, what, 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 what? Did you? Wow. Check it out. We've got ourselves an unexpected visit to a Soviet mosaic. Look at it. There's a soldier and a dude and some other dudes. Some Arm Armchovskians, whatever this town used to be called. Archovskians. Now they're called Bakhmutians. But yeah, there we go. A nice Soviet mosaic to start off our day. Let's go back to the bus station. Our bus is here. Welcome to bombed out Lysychansk. Let's hope that our um, mosaic survived the battles. Здравствуйте. Шампанское у вас? Да. Ой, дайте бутылочку, пожалуйста. Типа советский шампанск. Yes. О, супер. Это написано, что СССР? Ну, я не помню, там цена, наверное, должна быть. Да, это советская старая. Цена. Цена 7 копеек. САС. О, хорошо. Советский стаканчик, да, давайте. 100%. Спасибо. Такси, гудман.
Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. В ваш городе есть большой советский мозаику. Ну, это как космонавты. Знаете, где это находится? Самый большой мозаики. Это известный здесь. Ну, ладно. He doesn't know where it bloody is. How can he not know? I hope I've got the right town. Здравствуйте. Вы не знаете, где в ваш город? Это очень большой советский мозаика. Это Казманотов, где дом культуры. Знаете, где это находится? Никто не знает. Кто-то знает? Советский мозаика большой? Нет. Нет? Казманотов? Этого. Лисичанск. Сосюра. Дом культуры. А, это Сосюра. Сосюра. Стекольная. Стекольная? Нет, что стекольная? Затюра это свердлого бывшая. Есть такой? Чего ты культуры сосюра? Где у нас? На стекольном. Стекольный? Стекольный, да, 112-й маршрут. 112-й маршрутки, да? Внизу с рынка. 112. Хорошо. До конца. С самого конца. Супер. Спасибо за помочь. До свидания. Так, маршрутка, маршрутка, где? Вау, они все гиглин о мне. I must have real babushka game. They're all giggling. Mashurke gives you a mashurke. I see our mashurke. 112. It's the Orange Square bus. We're going to do it. И на нем у цвета Гусаны стадуришка Спасибо. Well, we're at the very end of the line, like Бабушка said to come to. Let's look for the mosaic. Wow, what a town! Wow, there must have been some heavy fighting here in Lisi Chance because just everywhere I look on the buildings are either all bombed out or there's just bullet holes everywhere. Now this is the oldest looking building here, so I reckon if we're gonna find the mosaic, it's gonna be on this one. Let's see around the back. Well, looks like some old Soviet building, it must be. If the Babushkas weren't trolling me, imagine if the Babushkas of Lisi Chank were just trolling me. So far, no. Oh man, don't say it's... <laughs> Guys. Wowzers, look at this place. Look at this old Soviet building, look at it. Dom Kulturi. It's the ultimate Dom Kulturi. Do you know why it's the ultimate Dom Kulturi? Because it's got the ultimate flipping Soviet mosaic. Oh my God, we've made it. We've been all around Ukraine. We've been to Odessa, Rivna. We've been to Ternopil. We've met awesome characters. We've been through the Donbass. And here we are in Lysychansk, the great Soviet mosaic. Look at it. Let's admire its beauty for a second. Wowzers, the different cosmonauts there in the front is a female one. That must be Tereskova and somewhere will be Yuri Gagarin. I don't know why it's here in Lysychansk, but let's not worry about the details. Let's just admire it. My God. This calls for a celebration. <laughs> Soviet champagne, baby. Well, guys, that's it from this trip around the country. It's been an awesome little adventure. We've seen some mosaics and, um, yeah, met some legit cool people. 
So nothing more to do but to raise my Soviet glass filled with Soviet champagne to the Ukrainians. Cheers.